Okay, we back. You remember Brie from the last interview? She was giving me some attitude, so I felt to myself I didn't really get a good interview out of her. But I got her back here today, and I was telling her about the incident that just happened with chocolate, and That's giving her chocolate. And I'm telling her she got to be careful out here, because we might have a serial killer on the loose, and I would hate to have her. God forbid, 1.5 million times to hear anything bad like that happen to her. Because she'd be out they here too. They said two people got shot in Kensington. They didn't say there's a serial killer on the loose. The two girls got um, cut up and stuck in a suitcase. They didn't say that. Well, one got, one was found stuffed in a suitcase and the other one was found in the river. So you're out here and I just want you, you know, tell the audience how you feel about that. I'll tell the audience that I know I saw a couple of people walking around being like, yo, can I get that pork wrench? You get it? I know a that, pork I, wrench, right? I know what that means. cut up piglets, right? So. So how you feel about the whole situation about it might be a serial killer loose in Kensington that's preying on prostitutes. I don't think there is. I think that's the only way to do it, right? You don't if think... you cut up one body, you might as well cut up two. Stick them together. So you think it's the same person? No. What else Why? are you going to do with it? You put it in a bag and you're like, oh, it's too... It's too forward. Somebody's gonna walk by and see it and call it out. And nobody walks by and it's like, man, there's a body in that bag. I'm gonna dig in. Nobody does that. So this this guy <laughs> this this guy, he has a fetish. Yeah, and I his like fetish it. is having females do something to him with a cigarette. So I just wanna get your, you know, your feedback on how you feel and how you going Go about protecting yourself out here just in case we do have a yeah. serial killer. Anybody who smokes more than three cigarettes in a row is crazy. They're crazy. I, that dude is going to give you, what, $15, $20? How much money can they get out of him for smoking three cigarettes in a row? Right? What are you? He must have a reason, right? I met that guy before. I could only smoke one and a half. I was just like, man, fuck this. I'm out of here. So you met the guy that... that has the cigarette, cigarette guy, fetish? Yeah. I was like, no. I, Is he white or black? Mean? I'm already dizzy. I just smoked a cigarette. He's white. He's white. Is he an older guy or a younger guy? He's like older. He's older, like curly brown hair, muffy curly brown hair, white. Um, but so, it's just like, but nobody can do the right thing. Who wants to smoke five cigarettes in a row? Nobody that, can win with that. And that's like, what he does, he smokes five no, cigarettes? No, but I'm sure if you would smoke five cigarettes in a row with him, you could get like, what, $80? I said one and a half cigarettes. Man, I'm sick, I'm, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it, I'm leaving, all right? So what did he ask you to do? Just smoke a cigarette, but I mean, uh, Whatever, he gives you the donation first. You smoke a cigarette, tell him what your limits are, and then, like, you don't even have to put your mouth close to him. You'll be like, I don't give shotguns. But, but I mean, you get out of his car, and he might be angry at you, so you can never make that $20 again. But some people just go back for the $20, right? And then still try to get 60 when they have the same attitude, right? So... How many times have you met him? I met him one time, and I did it, and then he tried to um, drive by me again, but I knew I couldn't get in his car because I wasn't going to do what he wanted, and I didn't want to deal with his bullshit. Uh -uh. How are you going to protect yourself out here just in case you come across this crazy person that's doing, it, doing these bad things to these females? Um, uh, you just know when you see them. 
You just know when you see somebody going crazy in a crazy van. So he's in a van? You haven't seen them before, but they look like they just want to fucking hurt you. Some fucking bum-ass white dude who lives in like three hoarders house. Like he probably has three homes in a row. He bought them all at one point. But he can't throw anything away because he doesn't want to lose anything. So he just has trash all over his fucking houses. Three fucking houses in a row. Probably a fucking mansion if you put them all together, right? That kind of man. So he took you to his house? You him. No, I'm just saying that's probably the type of man he fucking is. Like he bought stuff, so he has something to be like, oh yeah, I'm something special, but he can't bring anyone in his house. He has to have everyone in his fucking front seat smoking five fucking cigarettes. Like, no, you're not gonna fall in love with someone who smokes five cigarettes in front of you. Like, I don't know what you think it is, but there's no jinx, there's nothing. Like, you fucking pick us up and you tell us to smoke a fucking cigarette. And we smoke as many as you want right in a fucking row. Like, no, we smoke eight cigarettes in front of you. We're not marrying you. Or whatever happened to him in his past fucking life. I don't know, but maybe he offers that if you smoke enough cigarettes. And he probably does because he's that fucking crazy, seriously. Like, <laughs> I will never pay someone to take my cigarette and smoke it and blow smoke in my face. What do you mean? Who does that? He's crazy. Those two girls probably way, made way too much money for whatever they were doing. So you I'm think telling that's you, what they weren't is? walking around the street being a fucking slut. It wasn't a jealousy thing. So I'm telling you, they probably. So why was they? They pimp? probably were a thieving somewhere. Someone caught them on spy cam, stealing too much from somebody. Are you? You don't, get, you don't. I mean, you might get murdered for being a slut, but no, I'm not a slut. Prostitute. So what are you doing out here? I don't know. Maybe they give too many of the wrong addresses out or something. Try to kick me out every 10 minutes to go get some more money and bring back 10 more dollars for them, right? They kick me out eight times a day. What's that? $80, $90. Kick you out for what? Scumbag. To go get more money. They're like, well, look, I'm done getting high. I know you paid me for your time, but I'm going to act like you didn't. And you need to go get some more money if you want to stay here. Look, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You're acting crazy. You're a psycho. I don't know what you're thinking, but you're probably a psycho. Get the fuck out. Go get some more money if you want to stay here. Like, man, what the fuck? So somebody charged you $10 to get high in the house? No. Somebody will be like, um, well, no, the rent's $20 a day. Don't worry, baby. Don't worry. Don't go any. You're not allowed on this person's porch. You're not allowed inside this person's house. You can't get high anywhere the fuck else except for here. But don't worry. The rent's only $20 a day. Then when you stay gone for a couple hours, then you're like, man, I didn't have the fucking money to, to go there and do that today. And they're like, well, why didn't you tell me you didn't have the money? You know you can always fucking come here. No, you can't fucking come here without the 10 fucking dollars. You know you can always come here. But like some bitch is there paying $20 a day from some check you don't know about. Only $20 a day. And he told this bitch to be like, yo, get on her. Kick her the fuck out. Yo, yo, she's playing with you. Like this bitch is paying $20 a day all day to stay inside this apartment. You have to pay $50 a day to keep coming back like 10 times, 5 times. You have to pay $50 a day. And then he gets in your face and tells you, you're not paying rent, but you you do pay the $20 a day. And it's none of this bitch's business, but he has this bitch kick you out like every hour and a half because she thinks she's paying more than you. She, she sees you come in and pay $8 because you already gave him $35 that day. Her rent's only 20, and she won't fucking leave. She won't go outside for shit. So she thinks she has the right to rob you. Like any work you bought, any work you brought to the house. She thinks that's hers. Cause I don't know who's eating whose pussy or what, but anyway, it's a whole bunch of bullshit. It really is the worst thing you can do. But I mean, really it just like, uh -uh. it messes with your, um, well, it messes with your psyche because you just have to stand there and be silent and just let somebody just talk shit to you. Let's talk about like what's going on out here. Know what's going on. Look, you, you getting but off, off really, topic. like, like soon you want to really fucking 
grab a pusher and poke it into her eye, right? Let's talk about this this serial killer. That's Cut what I want to Put her fucking arms off. Put her in that suitcase, like, uh, at, uh, what is it called? A suitcase not being used. So how are you going to go about protecting yourself? This one time I thought I should buy mace, but I don't know where to get it. What, Jim's Army, Navy? Where the fuck you buy mace from? I think they're selling at Walmart. You need mace? Walmart. Try to get you some mace, No, right? no, I don't need mace right now. I well, how, how are you going? Because I'm not a scumbag. I mean, I may turn into a dirt ball sometimes, but I'm telling you, like, four hours is all I can take. So you can really see it in their eyes, like, how angry they are, like, when they first meet you, you know? So it's all in the eyes? Yeah. Devil in a red dress